Oh! <laughs> nice, that's a good start. You don't nut at the beginning of every stream. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> like Oda getting kicked in the nuts or something. <laughs> See, isn't it weird, like, you're, you and I are old enough to be called, like, Mr. Dolce, or Sir, it's like, what What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Like, it's chill, dog, you don't have to call me Sir or Mr., for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody asked, I'd be like, nah, don't worry about it. Just call me Jeff, because my name's Jeff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, that's what my bank calls me because that's what I set my profile name to, Jeff. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'll give you a smile every time you log in. They say good morning or good afternoon. It's so stupid. It's Capital One. Mm -hmm. They let you make a profile and have a profile pic, but it doesn't mean fucking anything. You can set it to whatever. I had it as Big Chungus when I first opened my Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I remember that. Mm. Why? Shouldn't it be my actual name and no profile pic? Why do I need a profile pic? I'm the only one using my account. Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this thing called Arrival. Um, I went to the... Oh, it's Batarians again. Wow, cool. <sighs> Fucking gun. Uh, outpost on Eratot. Bahawk system, Viper Nebula. We're trying to break Doctor Commanda, <laughs> Doctor Amanda Kenson out of prison. Sounds like fun. Amanda hug and kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Fucky farty. Fucking Batarians, man. Stupid. Well, yeah. They suck. I was fucking joking about there being a sequel to that stupid disgrace of a DLC from Mass Effect 1. <laughs> well, yeah, you got more than you bargained for. Where's Viper Nebula? Overlord. Local cluster. Mm, Crescent, Eagle. Fuck. Hourglass. Mega. Martin. Boss Omega. Uh -huh. <laughs> the fuck is it? Am I in it? Serpent? No, that's not it. Where the fuck is the Viper Nebula? How do I get there? <laughs> I've never done this uh, DLC before. But I thought I could just fly there. Is there one I'm missing over here? Oh, there it is. Duh. All the way in the fucking foreground. Okay. Aratata. What's this planet uh -huh. about? Oh, it's like. Uh -huh. Super fucking long. Uh, who gives a shit? It's just some made-up bullshit that doesn't matter because it won't be realized in any fucking way in this game. Well, uh, Batarian Hegemony considers any presence of Alliance military vessels in Batarian space as hostile. Ooh, that's probably not a good idea for us to be there, then. Uh, use of stealth systems is highly recommended. Okay, gotcha. Will do. The Batarians consider anyone hostile. Well, yeah, they're just, they're just angry all the time at everybody. So, not too much of a surprise there. Oh, horny Batarian. Uh, yeah, I'm already good. Oh, I should bring um this thing. Carnifex, Temper, yeah. Wait, what happened? I should have a locust, right? You should bring Zaid and uh, Grunt because they seem like 
the two strongest dudes that'll destroy Batarian. Yeah, I agree. Hope you fucking remove these people from the galaxy. <laughs> Turn it down a smidge. Hmm, we're alone. Wonder if this will be a solo mission. Cut power. Why did you do that? Why would this run down stupid place have power? What the fuck? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, uh, look at this. Uh, I could have just walked through this grating, you know? It's big enough for me to just walk through. Like, why didn't I just walk through it? You know? <laughs> uh, right down here? Holy shit, was Mass Effect? ever good I mean like really nah not really <laughs> seen us. oh shit it's a dog Batarian who war beast <laughs> who are you talking to they've seen us they've seen us me uh, the royal us Control activated. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'd be cracking my. I heard a dog. This place is run down. Even for a prison. Ah. Where the fire's coming from. <laughs> Is that 360 the dog did? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, whoops, I'm with that. Yep, sure is a long corridor. Empty shelves. Asteroid. Asteroid into a mass relay. I can't do that. Coffee maker. Nice. Oh. Some books. For nerds. Birds. Still got it down in the prison. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. Take that. Batarian scum. You don't even know if they were gonna attack you. You just killed them for no reason. Yeah, pretty much. That's how Shepard operates, dude. My Shepard is a woman of action.
have to... There we go. I don't know if you were supposed to be able to do that from up here, but I did it anyway. What does that say? Junk? Ah, salvage. My favorite. Hey, I'm not selling junk here. It's premium salvage. Yeah. Not some dumpster diving commander, you know. But I will dive through a dumpster to get some <laughs> salvage. That's where I was. Yeah, you're, you're like the strongest dude in all of the Fallout world, but you'll still look inside a filing cabinet to get two bottle caps. <laughs> exactly. Humans are bad. Spotted. Spotted. I'm really good at stealth. You have to be like Han Solo and shoot first. That's right. I mean, don't don't shoot first, actually. Yeah, more like Greedo. Yeah, like shoot the nanosecond after your opponent shoots. Yeah. And also digitally shift your head to the left very awkwardly. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a great edit to a classic film. Uh, playing the crane game over here. What am I trying to do? Let me, can I go in here? Vehicle lift. Okay. Can I go down there? What am I trying to do exactly? Oh, there's stuff back here. Kind of thing. There's stuff back there. Oh, maybe, yeah. So maybe I put it back up and then get the blocks on the thing. Mm. Let me back up. There we go. Okay, uh... I can't go left or right. Can't. Hold on. What does that do? Okay. This is a really good DLC. <laughs> I know. I'm glad I paid however much this costs back in the day. wonder how much it did cost. Better not have been anything, much. Anything over free was too much. Yeah. Oh wow, all the way over here, huh? Well, let me get the thing over here. Nice. Oh, there's something else too. This looks interesting. Interesting. This mm. makes me think of some awkward ass hollow bastion puzzle from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Come on, Shepard. Get there. You can do it. There we go. Oh. Code. I guess we'll just go down the lift here. Fuck a doodle, fucky sucky. A weird mission. Yeah. 
over here. That's a great euphemism for stupid mission. <laughs> What is the mission? You're just killing Batarians for seemingly no reason. Hey, we have to save Dr. Amanda Kenson, right? It's very important. Oh. It's so important, I forgot about that. Yeah. And who is she? That's a good question. I don't remember. <laughs> How did we even receive receive word of this kidnapping? It was Doc- er, not Doctor. Admiral Hackett uh, talked to us in our cabin at some point. He's like, I need you to do something for someone. I forget. I completely forgot the reason the reason for this mission, but uh, didn't really matter. That's the only time he calls you is if he has something for you to do. Yeah. Pretty shitty thing to do. Was oh, this her? That dude didn't notice you? Like, right there. What the fuck? I know. Shooting shotguns and everything. I guess it's really thick glass. Oh, do you have to shoot that glass? To break through? That would have been cool. Be good. Damn, he's torturing her. I can't let that happen. Kind of commander shepherd would I be? Oh, damn. Who are you? What are you doing, Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepherd. I'm here to get you out. You're just saving this woman. You don't know anything about her. She could be like evil or something. True. Um. We're looking at a major diplomatic incident. Oh, she's also in that weird Borderlands-esque. Uh, get up. I know it's so ugly. I wish they had different outfits. It's like, <laughs> is this what a space farmer wears in Mass Effect? I think they do. Yeah, the colonists like wear shit like that. So, yeah. What the hell's the we'll point of that one. sleeve? Just Go. wear a shirt. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Gotta keep those elbows warm. <laughs> Stop on him. That's a nice grenade throw, by the way. We landed behind him. See that shit, K Dr. Kenson? That was crazy, huh? Wait, what the fuck? Aren't you supposed to get a geth as your your teammate? Uh, yeah, eventually. <laughs> uh -huh. We'll get him eventually. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. Security console, you say? Is his name Jeff the Geth? Okay. Yeah. It says, my name Jeff. Isn't his name, uh... Osiris? It's, uh... Legion. Oh. Osiris, what the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. He's <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Damn. You guys are serious business. Fuck shooting me. I thought it was something Egyptian, but I guess Legion, that feels more Roman. Caesar's Legion or Kaiser's Legion. Oh, right. there you go. Gotcha. Yeah, my boy Kaiser with that Kaiser salad and that Kaiser salad dress. <laughs> the Kaiser dressing as well. The little Kaiser's pizza. It's pretty good. <laughs> pizza, pizza. That disastrous battle would say, no, that pizza fucking sucks, bro. Yeah. 
And like, yeah, I get it, it does, but come on, give him a break. Do 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 do. Um. Do 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 do. Oh, bitch. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Oh, she's hacking. Oh. <laughs> I remember talking about how I stopped eating sugar last week. Uh huh. I still have yet to eat any. Wow. Yeah. And now I'm like so fucking healthy, dude. Now I'm like fucking shredded. Holy shit, it's fucking crazy. That's crazy. I can't believe it works so well. <laughs> like I'm just totally transformed in one week of no sugar. <laughs> I'm just like fucking Schwarzenegger over here. It, it augmented my already supremely healthy regimen of turkey burgers and occasional Baja fresh. Okay. It sounds pretty healthy. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Doing bicep curls in one hand, you got your turkey burger in the other, take a bite, do a rat bite, rat bite. <laughs> They're coming up from below. I think maybe my sleeping is a little better for not eating sugar, but it feels just anecdotal. Okay. Like you would think so because you're not eating sugar and screwing with your your, your whatever. Uh -huh, your your energy levels at night, you know that sort that sort of thing. Yeah. And all pasta diet gives you a nice figure. Yeah, a very round one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a nice figure to some people. Unlocking all doors to the hangar. Still need more time. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to lose massive amounts of weight just by abstaining from sugar because I stopped drinking soda like in March or something this year. Uh huh. And I don't think my weight's changed at all. Okay. <laughs> Impressive. It's so impressive. She's impressed by my cool headshot ability. Watch the other side. More oh enemies on the elevators. Oh, Stop shit. saying things. Let me kill these guys, right? Jeez. Look out. Behind you. No, behind you. <laughs> other side. Behind no, you. other way. <laughs> top top wise. Be surprised how different no sugar is, and they'll probably lose weight pretty fast with a tiny bit of exercise at least. Yeah, maybe. It, it is, has just been a week. But I didn't even really go into it like wanting to lose weight. I mean, I figure that might be a natural consequence of it. I just want to like. I don't know, just like stop eating so much processed bullshit in my life. Yeah. It's like kind of gross, like how much stuff we eat is processed, like even healthy stuff, like, I don't know, a can of tuna, like at some point that was like processed mildly, put into a can, and, right. and then you're eating that shit, like just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Lick up the, the tuna water with my Let's tongue. Move. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. That's how we all do it. 
But like everything we eat, breads, processed, pastas, processed, anything with sugar basically. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not candy I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding, like, uh, jelly, mm -hmm. the sugar and jelly, I'm avoiding cereals, because those are almost always super sugary, right. processed. It's like, what's left in the American diet that's actually real? <laughs> right, right. Maybe, like... A steak, just a regular steak that yeah. isn't like hamburger. That's that's been processed. Right. <laughs> and it all comes out of shit too. I guess fruit making. I don't know. Can you process fruit? Uh, I'm sure you can, but. That's, I mean, that's just a good bet. You just buy like fresh fruit. I think you're pretty safe. Yeah, like just regular fruit, not like fruit products and like juice or jelly or. Right. Can't target them. Can't target, Can't target them. them. My name is Shepard. Material. You don't even get to see their stupid hands, their stupid faces. I know, yeah. Ho hopefully we get to unmask and kill at least one of these guys. Uh, hold on, let me look around for loot. Crane control. Anything I'm missing? I don't see anything. Crane thing is so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Let's leave. I'm out. We have to break the locks on the bay doors. Oh. Of course. Oh, I knew oh, that. Shame. So we gotta. Oh, get back up here, I guess. We have to suck them off. Can we get there? Can we climb up there, buddy? <laughs> no? Okay. Whatever. Ain't a platformer, bro. I guess you're right. Sure. Uh, see anywhere else to go. Yes. There's another way up. There's a staircase I'm missing. Oh, there, there was a good awkward face in camera moment right there <laughs> love to see those <laughs> well nothing's gonna top that 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 dude the vendor from uh, dreamfall oh yeah 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 that was that was tops <laughs> whenever you <laughs> whenever you get around to playing Dreamfall chapters, you need to bring back the good games. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm eager to get that one started. For sure. Oops. Him. Oh my god, if this is all there is to the DLC, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> it can be it. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. 
We call it the Alpha Relay. Can anyone look From normal here, in this game? The <laughs> it's impossible in this engine. In the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Your eyes are like way too close the together. Invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up. They have some more haircuts, isn't that just Kelly's haircut? Yes, yeah. Nearby asteroids into the relay oh, and destroy yeah. it before the Reapers could arrive. Looks cross-eyed. <laughs> the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Okay. Cool, cool. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens <laughs> when one is destroyed. Hand and, motion. <laughs> well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. All right, sounds good. Is the project still operational? I I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system. But just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. Oh, and you wonder why the Batarians hate you. We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. <laughs> yeah, Masters, seems pretty obvious to me. An aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Oh my god, these fucking eyes. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, that was odd looking. Or like downward I still stare. Don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arctura Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all Reaper. our notes on the artifact. Okay. Um <laughs> What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. Oh, oh you think you're the next fucking Spectre, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> you think you're as cool as me? Working near a Reaper artifact. How you also, lower your visor. You're peeking out. Be very careful. <laughs> Bro. You know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Let them see Trust your me. eyes. I know what's it's true. I'm too much like a Terminator. I can't let them see. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Wow, you called that dude <laughs> really fast. You didn't even dial. Yes, he she got him on speed dial. It's no big deal. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. All right. Can do. We'll all be damned. Building at point A, zero, zero, six, zero. Oh, it's a stupid fucking asteroid. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's a gigantic rock. So why couldn't your crewmates come up with you Here on that are. last mission? To Project Base. Uh, apparently it's top secret stuff. To I guess Admiral Hackett was saying it's gotta be just Shepard. Just over two days and counting. 
puts things in perspective, doesn't okay, it? Okay, what the fuck ever? Or something. Uh... How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals <laughs> since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. I know because I look fucking stupid hours, and I'm in the most <laughs> And the Reaper's will be It gives here. me... That gives me... Uh, You're saying the Reaper's could be... Ancient knowledge. There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. Okay. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Alright. Be with you in a second. Just uh, open some boxes around here. A weapons locker. And we're fine. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. Okay. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. Why are you farting, dude? It's not farting. Should we? <laughs> what That's what I need for my soundboard. I need a good fart sound. Reach the system, regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. Oh, the relay must be destroyed. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Hello, everybody on Phobos' stream. It's me, Dr. Amanda Kenson. Good lord. <laughs> I saw some refined something or other. Where is that? Oh, it's on, it's on the side over here. Yeah. <laughs> she looks weird. Something's off about her. Oh, hey, you could excuse all the weird-looking people in Mass Effect and just say it's a reflection of real life where not everybody is hot or handsome and we all look different and some of us look weird. Yeah, yeah. We have to get the project ready again. It's probably the only chance we Not have. everyone can be a Miranda. Exactly. Sec, I'm not genetically the... perfect like Miranda and her genetically... Modified buttocks. Commander Shepard, I give you object row. You oh, have the Reaper artifact oh just sitting here, out in the open? Gotta put it in a box at least. It, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Oh, okay. Will it? Uh. I can't let you start the project. Oh shit. Oh. I can't let you stop the arrival. She's a traitor. Oh, well that that worked out well. It's like Take her down. Hit her arm slightly. Let's go. Oh, yo, let's deliver a tiny shock to Shepard that she'll recover from in seconds. That'll that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Instead of I don't know, deliver a shock that would kill her. No. That's stupid. No. A lot of guys in here. Oh, see, so she was evil. Now I bet you feel pretty bad for killing those defenders. I guess you're right. What? Charge with these guys? Or not? You just die. It's fine too. Or just <laughs> was that even a game over? <laughs> what happened? 
is us. Oh shit. We want Shepard alive. Damn. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, were those Batarians? What the fuck? I guess. <laughs> what the hell? I couldn't charge for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it's supposed to happen. Like Shepard was waking up a moment ago. But it could be a glitch in the system. Oh, you died again. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, no glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! <laughs> oh, that was you? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just got up and started punching people with guns. Well, do you weigh like fucking a thousand pounds? You just. <sighs> really? Yeah, that was pretty. What the fucks? Russian people with guns. <laughs> Shepard angry. Step away from the terminal. No. Security, I need backup in the med bay. Oh Ooh. shit. We're assuming direct control of a mech. They get fucked. forward quite fast. Yeah. You just... You save this lady from Batarians, and then, oh, we, we gotta use an asteroid or whatever, and then you go see a thing. Oh, but actually, she's she's evil. Oh my god. And then you're escaping from her, and you control a robot, and what the fuck? I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. Can't help but think we're doing something terrible. Armor and we weapons. Ah, we oh, yeah, whatever. There we go. Back to normal. Time. This asteroid moving to get the hell out of here. I don't get it, so now you don't want the asteroid to fly into the mass relay? Uh... No? Uh, so I guess... I guess the whole thing is... She was bringing us here to, like, disable us, so we couldn't stop the arrival of the Reapers or whatever. Use this. We could use this. Oh, they've seen us. You needed. You needed that health. That's <laughs> true. So did Hiro Miyamoto. So you, do you want to hear about my stupid eBay purchase? Yeah. Oh uh, well, well, it itself isn't stupid, but there was stupidity around it. Uh huh. Hold on, let me turn this shit down. Are all these dudes batarians? Are we just killing a bunch of batarians? I don't know. I guess so. 
they don't sound like Batarians because they had a weird effect applied to their voice, I remember. Right, right, yeah. These might just be like humans, I guess. There, there was that one human who in the room where we woke up. So maybe it's like a mix of humans and Batarians and all kinds of fucks. Oh. Well, okay, so then maybe these are just... These aren't Batarians because they weren't the kidnappers. These are just normal people. Yeah, okay. But they, they look like the Batarian soldiers from that other place. The, the armor is very similar. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Whatever. Uh, so I bought a guitar off eBay. It's, it's not my... It's not the... It's not the same guitar that I had when I was younger, but it's the same model, same brand. It's some bullshit uh, brand thing it, it's like a really crappy import guitar but it was branded like official shit by Gibson and the Baldwin company who makes I guess among many things pianos uh -huh. so it was some like joint venture between these two companies or maybe Gibson already owned Baldwin at the time but yeah, so I bought that, but I was looking around because I wanted to find one that looked close to mine, had the same configuration of mine. And I saw that uh, somebody on Reaver, which is like uh, a place where people can sell instruments and audio gear, kind of like eBay, but more specialized mm -hmm. and no bidding. Somebody's trying to sell the same exact guitar for... Oh, oh, so I bought this for 130 and that that's including shipping, so that's like pretty fucking cheap. But somebody on Reverb's trying to sell the same guitar for $2,500. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to find... It was like, it was like a look fucking title for this thing. <laughs> Oh, that's discounted from three thousand dollars originally. Oh my god. Vintage. They're not vintage. <laughs> vintage Gibson Baldwin Epoch Educational Les Paul. Rare. They're not rare. They're not vintage. Oldest. They're like early two thousands, maybe late nineties, but I got mine in like probably late two thousands, I'd say. <laughs> And it was probably less than a hundred bucks. They're pieces of shit, but I just wanted my old guitar. Right. And this stupid fuck is trying to pass one off as vintage. I'm surprised they did put Baldwin in the title, because it'd be very easy to just say vintage Gibson less Paul Rare and just omit that Baldwin fact. Because <laughs> it does actually say Gibson on the on the back there. The Gibson, you know. Mm -hmm. But no, that doesn't make it more valuable or less of a piece of shit guitar. <laughs> About this listing. Just serviced, cleaned, restrung, and ready to go. Sounds great. Uh no. <laughs> They're dog shit humbuckers and it's twenty five hundred and seventy five dollars shipping. Like you couldn't even give free shipping. Yeah, that that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Vintage special. I'm looking at their other listings. Vintage special model Les Paul special. Two eleven VS two thousand sunburst. Okay, well you could have put that it was a fucking Epiphone somewhere in there for fuck's sake. <laughs> vintage, yeah, two thousand is vintage. Yeah. God, I found it's like wow, bro, could you fuck a fuck? Like, twenty five hundred dollars. And it's not like there's no listings at all other people listed for 
plus two hundred dollars, so mm -hmm. he should know that. Yeah. But it, it, wow, it made me think about uh, another thing. Yeah, rare look, exactly. Ooh, look! <laughs> stupid fucking ad symbols. <laughs> so, oh, God. Yeah, pretty Rich. cringy. Yeah, it's like what an old person does on eBay. It's <laughs> like, ooh, look, vintage, rare, fucking Epiphone Les Paul special. So fucking rare. Oh my God. Probably say like I, I don't know, fucking base set Charmander. Super fucking rare. Holy shit, guys! It's a Charmander card that's old. Therefore, it's worth a million dollars. <laughs> like no, there was a billion of those things. shit. But it made me think of uh, the people. Uh, another thing from my childhood that that stupid blue piece of shit, uh, rocket ship shape video game thing. Yes. Uh, yeah, that piece of crap and people were trying to sell it for... Let me look it up. I can't even remember. Like, if you pay more than a dollar for that, you're getting ripped off. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what to search to fucking find it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> we found but it at one point. Say, yeah, but... People saying in the listings, oh, that it's rare. Vintage video game here, 15 and 1, 101 games. Best value. Oh my, get the f <laughs> And it, it, it's not like it was just one person. It's dozens of fucking listings for the same piece of shit. People right. saying, oh, this is an old car. It ain't old. It's crap. It's just Chinese crap. <laughs> you act like it's a a goddamn copy of Nintendo World Championships. <laughs> Welcome to Project Control. Hold on, I'm gonna activate the project. Stupid shit. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. I want to activate the project. <clears throat> casualties, huh? Warn the Batarian colonies, or call the Normandy for pickup. That sounds, it seems like the reg the renegade option. Just calling the Normandy. Let's do that. Shepard to Normandy, Joker. I need a pickup now. Oh, you're just gonna fuck those Batarians over? Yeah. Shepard, no. Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. Not if I get to you first. Stop, Dr. Kenson. Oh yeah, she's such a threatening villain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she knew how to use a gun, at least. There's that. Here we go, I found it. Video game portable, clear blue pocket handheld electronic player spaceship new. New, but it's open box. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and it, it doesn't come in a box, it comes in a fucking Don't try to stop bag. me, Shepard. I have to do this. Stop like all now. these all these terms like I new vintage. You know, they mean something different to everybody, which is why they tend to throw those in. There is no escape. I guess. There's no redemption for what you've done. 
695 plus 520 shipping. I will oh die, God. never having seen the Reaper's blessings. <laughs> Portable <laughs> blue rocket die. pocket. <laughs> rocket pocket handheld. Damn it, Kenson. Electronic video game player. 11 games, exclamation point. Wow. Wow. Sounds great. 895 for all. For all. Oh my god, two of them for 25 bucks. Free shipping. You know what's better than one crappy handheld game? What? Two crappy handheld games. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Yeah, you can do, uh, you can give one to your friend and you can play PvP. <clears throat> you know, seeing this makes me think of, um, I haven't followed it too closely, but I'll, I'll get the occasional recommended video about, uh, Essentially, what they essentially are just ROM players in the form factor of like a Game Boy or something close to that with an A, B, and a directional pad. And uh, they have nice looking screens, IPS sometimes, just uh, I don't know, different kinds of handhelds, but you find them on Amazon and eBay and they're pretty cheap and. I don't know, I guess they look cool, but I already have the actual Nintendo hardware, so I don't know. Right. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty six thousand game in one. Oh my god. Oh my so god. Make... Think of the the deal. It's you're getting so much for your for your buck there. How do I stabilize the reactor core? Cooling rods. I need more time. Get in there. We've been spotted. We've been spotted. Looks like one Retroid Pocket 2 Android handheld game console. Dual boot for Android and retro game console, multiple emulators. 120 bucks. So Damn. Yeah, there's this one looking like a Game Boy. Jams Wall Retro Handheld Game Console. Portable retro video game console with 400 classical, classical FC games. 2.8 inch screen, 800 milliamp hour rechargeable. Okay, your, your listing title doesn't need to be the goddamn spec sheet. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Element zero. Uh, where's the cooling rod? Oh, it might, might be down here. Shepherd is in the maintenance area. Go. Oh, Shepherd. Not the Yo, maintenance fucking, area. Fucking bodies me, Shepherd. If you think you're so strong, man. One v one me. 
<laughs> Final destination. Oh fuck. It's a pyro. Flamethrower doesn't sound like the best weapon choice in this combat situation or this universe. No. Yeah, it really doesn't. Maybe a missile launcher or something for focusing? Yeah, maybe. A lightsaber? You just slice Shepard in hand? <laughs> yeah, why not? It, huh? It's too bad. Wait, I probably climb up. Climb up over here. Right. Rare, rare guys. Fucking rare. Holy shit. Rare vintage. You know your your listing title should not say rare. Like if it's rare, then you'll know by. Like, if you're looking for something that's rare, you know it's rare. You don't need to be told it's rare. And if it's rare, then you can tell by previous listings how often it does or doesn't come out for sale. Right. And if it's vintage, you don't need to tell me it's vintage. I can look up the year in the listing. Mm -hmm. And I can see, oh... It's from 1999. Yeah, that's so fucking vintage, bro. <laughs> rare. It's so fucking rare. Super rare. <laughs> Your listing just says Omega Poggers rare. Look. <laughs> <laughs> The most poggers amount of rarity you've ever seen. Triple Ultra Omega Rainbow Poggers Rare. <laughs> oh, something I really see. Uh, it pertains to guitars, but another pathetic, like, like, play to get people's attention and to overvalue a guitar is I guess in the 90s and early 2000s ish there, there was I guess Gibson had some good woods and like some good plain figure tops and shit like that so that time period was the, the good wood era <laughs> <laughs> And people will put that in their listing title saying, Hey, good wood! Hey guys, good wood era! Hey, it's the good wood era! Please buy my 90s piece of shit Gibson! Oh my god, because you wouldn't if I didn't say good wood, because there'd be no fucking reason to. It's the good wood, guys! And if it has a good, a good flamed figure top, it just fucking speaks for itself. You don't need to fucking say good wood! It's a good one, bro! Well, Art in my ass. So Christened by Johnny Cash's butthole. <laughs> hole. Guys, Axel Rose wiped his ass with this. This oh, it's over here. Yeah, I don't see that too often, but people will say celebrity owned, <laughs> previously owned by Jesus himself. <laughs> yeah, and that's some shit you could. I mean, in some cases, I'm sure there's ways to prove it, but I feel like it'd be pretty hard most of the time to prove it. Like, you just say whatever you want. Step away. 
away from the reactor. You've ruined oh. everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around now. You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. No, not the. I, I really oh. love the Reapers. Yeah, fuck you. Well, we should have. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. Bad idea, Shepard. Well, that's the warning. Name. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Oh, another th imminent. stupid thing people will put is warning. Collision imminent. if they have like Joker, a. This is Shepard. I need a pickup now. Seventies SG like Jesus Angus Young damage. from. Uh, Damn it. Evacuation. ACDC. <laughs> All personnel report to escape. They'll put like. Where can I find 1970 SG, same year as Angus Young. Oh my god, bro, <laughs> could you be more pathetic? <laughs> That's funny. Or they'll have like like a Les Paul standard from the 80s and say, Slash like, this guitar is Slash like, kind of like Slashes. Hey guys, you want to be like Slash, right? Get this guitar. That's pretty cool, wow, bro. What? Can you just say what your fucking product is and then just be on your fucking way? <laughs> slash, yo, slash. Hey, Angus oh, speaking. knows five chords. That's like five more than I knew. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, speaking of celebrities, going back to that guitar I bought. There was one um, for sale that was signed. Um, Warning. Alpha relay collision imminent. Evacuation is recommended. Oh. Wait. Maybe it was purchased. Yeah, it might have been bought. But I think it was that crappy this. guitar signed by the members of the Eagles. <laughs> that was pretty random to see. Yeah. Yo, bro, the Eagles signed my shit, bro. Damn. Hotel California. You can just go to sold listings for Gibson Baldwin and see these things sell for... Sixty-nine dollars, ninety-five dollars, hundred ten dollars, eighty-five dollars, hundred, one fifty, like twenty-five hundred. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like anybody stupid enough to believe that's vintage and rare would never fucking come across this guitar ever. Like you have to be a fucking weirdo to seek this guitar out and buy it. Yeah. That's why I bought it. Oh, and even dumber. Man, the stupidity just never ends. There's, uh... It's not the same guy, but... The... There's some dude selling the neck off of one of these guitars for 120 bucks. <laughs> It's like more than the whole damn guitar's worth. <laughs> and then this looks like the same dude, same photography, selling off the tuners for seventy dollars. These absolute dog shit tuners from China that are just bullshit tuner. Seventy yeah. bucks. Are you fuck <laughs> you find the same tuners, a whole set of six on eBay for ten bucks. <laughs> shit. Stupid. And then, like, this dude had to have parted this guitar out because then he also has the truss rod cover and the nut, which are two, you know, very innocuous parts of the guitar. 50 bucks for a cheap plastic nut and a cheap truss rod cover. Plastic. Worthless. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> this looks like. 
place you've been a hundred times. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty identical. And then one final crazy guy is selling the case candy for one of these guitars. So the strap cable, three shitty picks, and, and some pamphlets. 30 bucks for all this crap that's worth nothing. Oh, and the strings, the very good tone strings that came with this piece of shit. Guitar. 30 bucks. Like, good luck. Like, I may be the only person stupid enough to even remotely think about it. I'm not going to. But I'd probably be the only person on Earth to. Like, <laughs> holy shit, we, we people get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Throw that shit away. Like, it's worth more in the garbage than it is on Reaver. <laughs> I could think, take that 30 bucks to Guitar Center and buy a strap cable, picks, and strings for less than that. actual good ones. So I remember that strap sucked. The leather was too, too stiff. It's hard to put over this uh, strap of garbage. And I want to experience that all over again, so I bought it. <laughs> there it is. External comm channel open. Oh, shit. Shepherd to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Hello, Shepard. I come in peace. It's me, Joker. <laughs> come and annoyance. You fight against inevitability. Dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you. A star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. You're your talking to a giant tip. Or a, or a flea. Like, yes, get the fuck out of here. Maybe we'll lose half the galaxy. Maybe more. But I'll do whatever it takes to rid the galaxy. Is that a threat. reaper? It's a collector. However insignificant we might be. We collector general, apparently. We will sacrifice and we will find a way. Oh, oh. That's well, excuse do. me. Sorry, no, there, general. <laughs> Your yeah, that's a general right come. there. I know. Your species you can tell because fall. of the number of legs. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Oh shit. Capital A arrival, that's the name of the DLC. This is changed. Is this changed in the legendary, you mean, from the original version? Roger that. I never played the original. But that would be interesting if they actually they mess with that. Oh. Uh. Wasn't a collector. What was it? Oh, it was Harbinger. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, hurry up, Joker, you stupid idiot. So it was a Reaper <laughs> originally. really cool. I know. That's worth it. Oh my god. I did not so long. <laughs> I did not warn the Batarians, no. So long Batarians. They're all dead. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, less Batarians is probably a good thing. It's not like it matters. Is Batarian going to show up in the future and be like, you blew up my people, prepare to die, bitch? <laughs> eh, maybe. Oh, no. Well, yeah, probably not. If again. he does, you're going to kill him in five seconds with your gun. <laughs> probably, yeah. That's Admiral you Hackett. Did, you did what you had to, Shepard. Looks like you've recovered. Yeah. Admiral Hackett. 
Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded <laughs> and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Uh, I did what I had to do. Kenson said the Reapers were the galaxy's salvation. Then she captured and sedated me and held me against my will. She wasn't willing to stop. Oh, yeah, I'm going to read this entire dossier so in five seconds. Just kind of. Sounds like Amanda was looking at it, looking it over or whatever. Well, that's oh, damn yeah, shame. That's good. Good enough. Bye. <laughs> and you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. Why are Literally you talking away from me? Just talk to me. <laughs> I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the collectors oh, out oh there taking our colonists. Batarians want blood? Damn. Like they did before this incident? Did what oh, <laughs> yeah, what exactly <laughs> changed there were with our relationship here? There were Batarians in that system. All dead. It's worth it. Any sacrifices worth stopping the Reaper invasion. I happen to agree with you. Good. I'm sorry those Batarians lost their lives, but someone has to make the difficult decisions that get people killed. Exactly. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it. Actually, I wanted them to die. Lol, get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was actually so fun. Suggest? Evidence against I actually don't care about the Reaper invasion. I just wanted point. to kill the Batarians. I just love killing Batarians, honestly. I can't stop it. Well, you kind of do with how many you kill in Blue Circle and the Suns and shit. Yeah, it's true. <coughs> um, <coughs> have to face the music, huh? Uh, well, uh, I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Okay. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encountered the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. Man. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. Yeah, who gives a fuck? I just want to go fucking gamble in that stupid gambling mini game. I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me on charges. 20 credits it's per fucking win. Yeah, that's You'll be a convenient cool. scapegoat for avoiding open war. <coughs> do uh, I wonder. You do out here. I wonder if this is what when you're calls, you make sure on trial for at the beginning of on. Mass Effect Three. Ready to take the hit. Cause I seem to remember that being a thing, meantime, but I don't. I don't remember. I was like, "Why? Why is she on trial?" Report to know you did the right thing. It is okay. Yeah, yes, that's. A hell of a thing. I remember that being a weird because I didn't play this one. I was like, "Wait a minute! I'm like, why is she on trial? What's what's happening? What's going on?" <laughs> I'm on. I'm a fucking specter, bro. I don't get put on trial. Bullshit. Yeah, it's all just a bunch of garbage. Bunch of shit garbage from a butt. Yo, kiss my ass. That's the trial there. <laughs> well, what do you think, Kelly? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? How may I Nothing help right you? Now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Do you Shepard. want me to jerk you off? That mission was so cool, nobody wanted to go on it with you. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, this is boring. Just don't take us along, Shepard. It's gonna be garbage. It's a shame one of your crewmates isn't a Batarian and then they got to see their whole race fucking extinct. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been ideal. It's like, ah, get wrecked. <laughs> uh, well, that was relatively, relatively brief, but unfortunately, 
Uh, I mean, I could start another DLC, but I mean, they're all like two hours long, probably. We'll just go, uh, go do something real quick and we'll wrap it up, I guess. Let's go. Oh, we're in the local cluster. This is just where I want to be. Let's go to Uranus. What do you say we probe Uranus? Uranus. Yeah. Uranus. That's like people's attempts to make it not sound like anus. Like, wow, just fucking fail. Listen to uh, listen to Edie. Probing Uranus. <laughs> Little Easter egg. There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing Uranus. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Yeah, the doors, yeah, are always way too complex in sci-fi. Platinum. Probe launched. Probe launched. Into your anus. Launching probe. The game has a currency called Plaz or Meseda. Meseda is Fantasy Star and Fantasy Star Online uh, as well. Plaz? I don't remember what Plaz was. Potch? <laughs> I never heard of Potch. Sounds funny though. Probe away. That's the Bobby game. Potch. Pita. Pitas. Pesetas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah. It's abbreviated. I think you're right. Down here. About this one. Probe away. Crappy in my ass to have to challenge Probe launch. Wow, you have a very mature guy on your stream. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I'm a Rory for you. Yeah. That's right. What perception? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Mesita, Mesita was Fantasy Star Online, I think. Hot. Oh yeah, that's right, it's Ricotta. There you go. There you go. I did not remember that at all <laughs> until you until you said it just now. And uh, Zenny, remember Zenny from Breath of Fire? I don't know if you ever played any of those games. I think I think it started with like Breath of Fire three. They started calling it Zenny, and that's also uh, Mega Man Legends or something too. I think. Well, I'll be down. Pretty I'll crazy. Be, I'll be fucking down, bro. Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> we're done. What about this one? Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. I'll be down. Who the hell is talking? <laughs> it's an anomaly. I have found 
found something. Uh, alien signatures. I don't know what this is. I don't say alien sewage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. I, I didn't. I didn't catch it. Well, hopefully it's not a long ass mission, or whatever. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Grunt, and uh, what, what's that chick's name? The... Kasumi. We got Samara. Tali. No, the one on on the way right. Jack. No. Oh yeah, Kasumi. Oh, cause it's like Katsumi Ninja. Exactly. Japanesey. Wait. So, what? What? What is the 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 jazz jazzy jazzy <laughs> jazz jazzco? What the fuck? Justicar. The Justicar. Yeah, Justicar. What's her name? Um, Samara. Oh. So Samara. No, it's Samara. Oh, Samara. Yeah. Oh, like Samarian, like good Samarian, but it's like Justicar, like justice is good, good Samarian, good Samara. Exactly. That is really cool. Yeah, it really is. In the area, uh... Did you ever give that guy his uh, flux capacitor or whatever he wanted? That, oh, uh... yeah, his uh, combustion manifolds. Yeah, what did he give me? I don't know. Credits or something? Credit shit. Yeah, he gave shit. me his, his credit shit. Let's grab this iridium. Shit in my butthole. If you're reading this, get the hell out of this place now. No. Love Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> to whom it may concern. One more. One more. Uh, rapid shit. See, I mentioned the combustion manifold, dude, because this looks like the, uh, the Erdnaut planet. Oh yeah, it looks like Tuchanka, doesn't it? Yeah, fucking everything looks the same in this game. <laughs> yeah, true. Nearly. One one standout place was the, was the island where Jacob's dad was doing whatever the fuck. Oh, right. It was an island. It's yeah. kind of different. Yeah, true, true. I think it was, yeah. Wow. Mine logs. Oh, I don't care about this garbage. Cooper and you, Jorgensen. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I love that dude. He's really cool. <laughs> I, oh, they're so great. Oh 
Oh shit, you got me hanging with Mr. Cooper on VHS? My favorite show. Fucking zombies in space, bro. <laughs> have guns like why are they just walking around? I don't know. It's a good question. I guess they're just super dumb. Oh PC game your world exclusive access Steam Deck. Full hands on preview. Ooh. In depth interview and expert analysis. I love the Steam Deck. It's so bad. I know. Great. Oh, oh shit. Steam Deck versus Switch, bro. Alright. Holy oh, shit. I'll put them down. I can see the comparison vids already. Oh, that did make, make me think of something. If all Nintendo and, and Sony games were... Yeah, we fucking did it, hell yeah. <laughs> if they were all available on Steam, would you bother buying new hardware? Um... Wait, so... All Nintendo and Sony games available on Steam... Oh, so you buy a Steam Deck for them, you mean? No, just you can buy Breath of the Wild on Steam and play it on your computer. Uh-huh. Like, upgrading my computer to play it, you mean? Or... No, you don't need to upgrade your computer. They're just on Steam. Oh, I thought you said buy new hardware to play them. Oh, would you buy, why, would you buy new Sony consoles and Nintendo consoles? Right oh, I see, I see. Okay, I see what you're saying. That'll be all. Um, I don't know. I mean, if everything's just on PC, assuming my PC is good enough to run it, then you know there's no reason to uh, buy the console. The only issue would be if it if it was something exclusive or if I couldn't run it for some reason, or if it's just like better on console or whatever, you know. better on console. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes they're shitty PC ports. You never know. That's it for now, folks.